hello everyone and very warm welcome to your channel in this video i am going to show you how you can install and use this menim library on your local system menim helps you create programmatic math animations so if you want to animate mathematical concepts in your programs in form of video then you can use menim quite easily at the core of it, it is a simple Python library for generating explanatory videos like those on various channels you might have seen on the YouTube. I also intend to use it in my future videos to explain some of the machine learning and AI concepts. And that is where I thought before I use it myself, why not also share this learning with you guys. So in this video, we are going to install it locally. I will also be showing you how it works and we will see a few of the coding examples to create those mathematical concepts visually. It supports both 2D and 3D animations. Also it has a community version which is quite frequently updated and the documentation is also quite extensive which you can access it from their github repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Before I move forward, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. As this is just a Python library, there is nothing to do with LLM or AI, so you don't need a GPU for this. So if you have a good CPU with good 16 GB of VRAM, I would suggest 32 GB is ideal, but as long as you have it, you can run it on Linux, Windows, Mac or wherever you have Python installed. So this is my Ubuntu system where I'm going to run it. So let's go and try to get this thing installed. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a directory called as project. Let's cd to this project and then stay here. Next up, we need to install this menim. There are a few ways where you can install it. You can install it directly on Windows and Linux, but I would highly suggest you install it through Conda. Coda is a package manager for Python um, which keeps everything separate from your local system. So I'm just going to create this Conda here. I'm just calling it my menem environment. It is going to create this environment. Shouldn't take too long. And you can just say yes here. And that's been created. Let's activate it by paste. just doing Conda activated. You can see that not is activated. Next up, let's install this with Conda. So I'm just going to say Conda install Conda Forge Menim. It is going to take a minute or so. So let's wait for it to get installed. And Menim is installed now. Next up, let's open our code editor. Maybe I'll just create a file called as scene.py in that project folder you can call it anything you like and then let's open this file in your favorite code editor i'm opening it in the vs code so let's wait for it to open and this is my vs code here let's paste this code here which draws a circle on your screen so you see all we are doing here is we are importing that menim library and then menim is outputting rendering information and then it is creating an mp4 file and if you have any default movie player that is going to play that mp4 file on your local system now if you go through this script um, what is happening is that this first line it is importing all of the content of this menim library and this is the recommended way of using menim by the way as a single script often uses often uses multiple names for the menim namespace and then we are defining a class here and most of the time the code for scripting and animation is entirely contained within the construct method of a scene class and that is what we are doing here inside construct as you can see which is uh, you you can create objects display them on the screen and animate them so you see where we are defining this circle so these two lines are creating a circle and setting its color and opacity and then finally the last line uses the animation create to display the circle on your screen so all the animations must reside within the construct method of a class which is derived derived from the scene and other code such as auxiliary or mathematical function they can reside outside it as long as you understand this bit 
you can use this library quite easily so once this concept is clear that everything is drawn within the construct of this um, scene you are good to go okay so i have already saved it let's go and try to play it out so let me go back to my terminal this is my terminal and in order to play this all you need to do is to run this command my name dash pql scene dot by create a circle so let me run it so you see as soon as i have run it it was very quick it has opened this there you go this is our circle so if i just quickly close it and just go up here you see as soon as i have run it it has created the animation it has generated the movie file and then it has run it there you go so it's it is just saying that it is uh, it cannot open these libraries which is fine if you want you can install it there are a lot of auxiliary things you can install not only this one but also you can install ffm pack if you don't have it so let me cancel this if i run it again let's wait for it there you go how quick that is so you have drawn the circle quite easily okay let's proceed further okay so let's go back and now let's try to convert this uh, con transform a square into a circle for that all you need to do just keep the code as is and paste this code now what this is doing again in the construct one it is uh, converting this scare into the circle you see it is defining the scare first the circle was there then scare was there and then it is transforming it there you go this is transform and how easy that is all you need to do is to write transform scare circle that's about it so let me save it let's go back to terminal let me clear the screen and then again run my name dash pql scene dot pi and i will just say here scale to circle let's run it let's run it there you go so scale to circle how cool is that and then similarly you can also um, position the m objects if you like so for positioning m objects which are just a um, mathematical graph objects let's create another class so i'm just going in the same scene class and then let me paste it here so you see now i'm defining the square and circle let's save it and then it is creating a circle creating a square and then it is just positioning it with the next two so it is just setting the position here so if i go back and then i just need to call this so i'm just copying it go here and then let's run it again so instead of this class let's go with the next new class scale and circle press enter there you go how cool is that so you see they were positioned next to each other both scale and circle another cool functionality of this menu is that you can animate the object um, and then you can even animate all the changes you make to an m object so let me show you how so let me open it let's create another class and in this class we are just an using animated scale to circle let me save it let me grab this here the whole class name let's go back to terminal let's run it just replace this class name with your new animated one let's run it and just wait for it there you go you see how good is that how beautiful is that so if you look at the code it's again very simple circle scare creating the scare and then scare is being rotated and then scare is being transformed and then it is filling it with pink color how good is that so very easy um, very very intuitive to follow as i said i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it this is really amazing stuff before i go let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page 
Agent QL is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. So that's it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.